Today, I made a deck with the most cringy card in the game of Gwent. I'm talking about battle stations. Play up to two bronze cards from your hand, then draw as many cards. You can already see why that's going to be a problem, and at 12 provisions, it's a steal. When this card was released, I believe it was 11 provisions, which was even worse. And I still think it needs to be nerfed to at least 13, okay? So... The problem with this card is that it allows you to get two engines on the board or two really strong deploy abilities on the board at the same time. Imagine either two locks or two Nazca sergeants or two Artfane cavalries or one of these and one of these, you know, it actually is terrible and it sets up things like Erendite super easy because you're playing so many cards in one turn. I wanted to make a deck that exploits this so you guys can see for yourself so when Balance Council comes around we can have that discussion. So what you're supposed to do is play battle stations early, get a couple engines on the board. What I like to do is get one of the cavalry on the board and then one of the marines on the board. And with this one here, we could choose a card from our deck and at the end of our turn, move it up in a position of the deck. And if it's at the top, boost it. We'll boost this by one instead. So we get a one point per turn engine with a consistency card. And what I'm going to be doing is as soon as I'm playing battle stations, I'm going to be looking for either a sire or meno. And if I have either of these in hand, I'll be looking for the other one. If I have both of them in hand, I'm just going to be looking for my best card. That's pretty much what it comes down to. Because the objective is to put it back in deck by playing this on ranged and then replay it again 100% sure far away with Meno. And if we miss Meno for whatever reason, we have War Council. So it all works out very well. We're going to be playing just a ton of bronzes. So the objective is to win on even or to have a really good lead and then pass in round one we go into round two we bleed down to a very short round three potential where we have a huge sword and a couple sergeants and you guys are probably tired of playing against stuff like this and i don't blame you but it can be beat so we'll talk about that as well if you're playing with a deck that has a lot of points itself like relics could give this a hard time if you have a bit of control in relics or fruits of yizgith could give this a hard time again with a few control options if you're playing cards like toad prince or you're playing even northern realm siege would give this a hard time skellige onslaught would give this a hard time there are definitely decks just control decks that will make this awkward but uh, if you're playing an engine deck all the luck to you because it's going to be very hard to get your engines to take off when everything's getting locked tall punished and just outpointed so that's an issue so know your matchups this isn't totally busted i think it's just one card that can be annoying and uh maybe this should be 13 provisions but yeah this is my version of it i want to talk about decoy because i think decoy is a really cool addition to the deck the fact that i'm able to know what we're going to be top decking in with the imperial marines and with the intel from war council it makes decoy very attractive because if i want to i could go with sire back into deck and to play it a third time which is just doing the most but oftentimes we'll go for vigo or we'll go for ramon because Putting a four point Ramon back into deck and then top decking into like a tall punish that we put at the top of the deck, for example, and then getting this for a short round three, that combo is really disgusting. So you can see some of the possibilities with a card like Decoy when we have that information. It's not just there because it's random, it's there because we know what we're doing, okay? At first, I had two Magni Divisions. I decided to switch it up for one because what I found in my trial games was that Magni, oftentimes, we'd be pulling into another one and we wouldn't have any more tactics left. So I decided one is enough and if I really need a second one, we could Ramon for that you know, a worst case scenario. So a couple things too that are cool is that because we're going to be drawing into cards, the Yen could pull their best unit and to play it. So we can use Yen in a round two bleed and play their best card in a round three. There's a lot of really cool stuff. It just does typical Nilfgaard stuff. If you love Nilfgaard, you're going to love this deck. I don't mind this deck because I can see its shortcomings, right? So that's what I have for you guys there. This is what got me to pro rank, and I have to say it wasn't too difficult when I started playing this in rank one to get to zero. But uh, in pro rank, you know, people know exactly what they're doing. And so, you know, they're going to find the shortcomings, and yeah, you're not going to win every game. So that's what I have here for you guys today. 
Enjoy the video nonetheless. I got four games of live commentary for reference. If you want to support me and the content that I do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's nice to see a lot of people I haven't seen coming back to the channel, returning to Gwent, and uh, I think Sunset's just the beginning, so, you know, let's keep this thing going, man. Now let's get into the gameplay. All right, first up here we got Skellige Onslaught. So, I always put back the Nausicaas in round one. Just so that we can play down all the way if we need to. And we have a lot of the stuff that we really are looking for. Like, battle stations available. That's the coffee maker going off in the background. One sec. Okay. I'm just prepping it now so I can have iced coffee later. Nice! I guess they want to load the graves so that they can play them later. I think we just tempo out, honestly. Here. We'll do, uh... We'll do this. And then... Be nice if I had raid cards. Four provision alchemy. They all suck. Here. We put a sire to the top so that we can make sure we can cycle it back for the mental play. That's crazy. We're both swinging, man. Here, I think I can afford to play something like Vigo. Uh, we can go with a second one. Not gonna do anything yet. I'm just gonna leave them. If they want to use both leader charges to take out some bronze cards, so you can go for it, I guess. Next turn, we can go in with the battle prep. Ah, I guess a little late for the snowdrop play. That would have been worth a lot of points. There we go. So we know she's top deck now. So we don't even... We have to play in for Erendite. Short round three with the Nausicaas will be very good. Good. Decent. Great. We don't want these. I want this. I want this. There we go. I think I start aggressively. It's gonna be hard for you to get through that armor. So we're at five so far. I was not expecting Golden Necker. <laughs> what? These concoctions. Oh, it's this deck. We gotta be careful. Kind of nuts. Um, I should just kill these off. Just lock them. Uh, 
I need to stay ahead for the the Erendite, so. I saw someone do a play similar to this with Tainted Ale and then the Hay Maze, and they were able to get hundreds of points off of it. I just forget exactly how it went. It's, yeah, something like this. <laughs> Look at this, man. Wow. I could wait with the tall punish. Just you wait, man. We'll eventually get through that 200 armor. <laughs> Never thought the maid business wow. So business. Should I... Okay, we're not gonna go... We have to play down to get out more of this stuff. My I trust you have sharpened it. But we know we're not gonna 2-0. That's for sure. Know that I was framed by Clara Larissa de Winter herself. Here, we'll just take this while we can. Sad to see these not working, but everyone's probably cheering against me right now, so there you go. still don't totally understand how they had so much armor. Just because this all happened? I guess? Yeah, it must have been because of this play. Here. I'm gonna go and just take cards so we can get that on the board. I guess that's the best bet. Right in the middle. We'll play Arrow. Hmm. Now, do I pass and just get... Honestly, no. What are we sitting at for the sword? 12 in round 2. There we go. We're getting out like, a lot of the good stuff here. Now is my pass. 300 armor on one unit. It's like every... Every Irish Shade player's dream here. It's just the round one was awkward. If they had round control, this would be terribly scary. Okay, so we can go and put this back. And this is what we want. It's just I don't have Yen. I feel like we need a second tall punish, but... Uh, you know, it's alright. Two cards to five cards. He's going to forfeit. Yeah. That was sick. So we got Syndicate, Jackpot coming up here next. Dark Spirit Zero. Wait. Why are they showing the names? Did they change it? 
thought we were in pro rank and they don't do that anymore. I guess it doesn't matter. I thought they only show it after, though. Okay, Nausicaa goes back, round one, you know the plan. I'm worried about poison, so I'm gonna keep both of these, to be honest with you. Erendite here. We're on blue, so we get a good sword. I don't have my way of getting what I want, though. We're running out of time here. We'll put that back. Perfect! <laughs> we just cheese the ladder with this one here, boys. Let's go one and two. This guy's already cringing. Guaranteed. Uh, we want to have a... Probably... We have no punish. So I would say we want Yen. And then we're just going to boost this guy up so they can't do anything about it. Unless they have uh, Junior. And she's already on the top of the deck. What do you know? So decoy is top unit, so it does not play yen. It goes past that. So if we pick a special card with the marine, you're not going to turn the marine off if you decoy into when you have a special on the top deck. Just an FYI. This world only two things are certain. I think we try to just. And then I'm gonna go ham on this one, boys. I think I'm just gonna do this. Just because I want to turn everything on, but there's no way for me to actually get. It's a lot of points, though. I suppose letting it float for one turn and then using a battle prep would have been better, but it's not the end of the world. We don't want to draw with Magni, so I'm just going to use this. And then we, we kill that, because they didn't use anything. So I think they're just setting up to get out of the round. So, with that being said, we get a pass here at some point. I wonder if we try to squeeze out... Nah, no, they're just going for the fins and the small stuff. For the plot, do we just hero pass this? They don't get candle carry over either. Yeah, no way. Oh, it's worth every penny, okay. Less turns with the sword, but we could play this round for free. Okay. Our round three stuff's all chilling in the deck. That's even better. Okay, good. What's, uh... What are the odds they have squirrel? Probably very low. I'm going to go and get some engines online here. Because if we have it, we'll take it. You know what I mean? It's not to say we can't win this in two. Let's put a tall punish on the top. Short round three, couple sergeants, and an erendite should be really good for me, man. I like to sometimes put Vigo down first, but it is what it is. I don't care as much about the assimilate procs. When I take decoy out on Ramon, it's actually very nice. So they're boosting, so we know our top deck's going to actually be our removal. Are they going to use leader? They are. Uh, you know what, man? Here. 
here, well, let's just mill them. That sucks for me, dude. We lose the sword here, but... Erendite's not the only win condition, you know? It could very well be the deal of a lifetime. This could have actually bricked the Madame card, right? They don't have another one to thin out. It could be very good. We're also getting rid of the King of Beggars value here, so... Yeah, there's that. I suppose I could just make it harder for them to see value from that. There you go. I like how it's Horde 6. Beautiful card inside of Syndicate. Outside of Syndicate, it's pretty bad, obviously. So, for Nilfgaard, if they were going to copy that, it would mean that they have to do a lot more to, to make it count. Here, we'll put that back now, because time's running out. Consideration to even mulligan Erendite in this instance. I feel like the last game we showcased it looking good. And now... My collection's pride. We can show you what happens when you don't have that crazy, crazy swing. Round 2, Flying Redanian comes out, okay. Uh, let's take some more carry over here. I gotta at least compete, so we'll, we'll go ahead and lock this guy. Which, which one's worse? <laughs> They're both pretty bad. We want them to go into round two broke. Or round three, rather. So, if they keep spending down, it's all good. Ah, so they have an answer. And they're going to hero pass on me, watch. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Do I go for another lock? I feel like Vigo is just really good for round three. I could, I could get, like, a little something-something going. Just a few coin in the bank. And then they tempo pass on me and we try to take it in two. I gotta be careful. So, we get rid of that, which is fine. And we take this. I actually sort of made a mistake if I was thinking about the hero pass. Because we, now we have a dead Magni. So now we have to leave, unfortunately. Or it gets even worse. Here. It's all good. Sword at six. Six could be important, but I don't think six is game changing. I need one and two. With those, I think we have the sauce, you know? Nice. So, we got one opportunity to draw. There's that. And I'm missing everything good. So that's not very good, man. Uh, I think Erendite goes away. That's a bit better. We still missed out. Unless I draw into battle prep. I don't believe in poisons, right? Haven't seen it yet. Probably doesn't exist. And just a random heat wave. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. We conquered Gesso. These Nordling scum are no better. I feel like even if I get battle stations at this point, it wouldn't really be very good. So, we'd probably want Ramon more.
good. Put it all into the jackal. Yeah, keep going. Okay, yeah, honestly, I'm cool with that. Whatever. Do I have any coin carryover? I do. Profit three, fee three. I mean, we're not going to get this, so we'll just do this play. We spend everything, 100%. What would it have been? Eh, sword's getting good. It's going to play for more than 10 points. Probably around 12 had I kept it, but going into round 3 with it at 6 is not too special for me. Honestly, bro, we gotta get rid of that jackal. But at least they're gonna play another unit. Ooh. Well, now we know poison's on the menu, so let's keep it nice and low. Alright, we'll just yen the, the Yago. It's probably gonna be the Yago play. They'll spend all, gain all. Just, I, want, I don't want to take away the points I'm getting off the other one, you know? It's kind of annoying. Unless they just don't have any way to spend. Yeah, I'll we'll just take it now. <laughs> Cheers. Because if that's the one spender, then this doesn't get the value. Just a bunch of coin. Gang card. Ah, uh, so they pull it off. That's cool. I shouldn't have done it. I should have just waited, bro. Catchy. And we have Horse of Nature coming up here next. I think I'm due for a monsters deck. I just did everything else in the last week except for monsters, I think, right? Yeah, maybe we'll do monsters next. Nazca goes back in round one. We have Menno and we have Battle Stations and we have a Sire. So I got the combo online, which is great. I have a lock just in case it gets ugly. I think we're gonna put back Diplo. Second lock, all the better. We're going second. They have a lot of tempo, so we have to match that tempo. All right, bro. Here, let's go for it. The Artfane play is nasty, by the way. But, uh, especially against monsters, unless they're like a super heavy control monsters, then this never lives. If they have Toad Prince, then it's going to be the best Toad Prince in history. I'm doing the laundry right now, and uh, the sheets are off the bed, and every time that's the case, my cat always tears up the mattress, and I'm just watching right now as she destroys it, and it's really annoying. Just a uh, FYI. Um, here. Let's just do this again. We're going to have a hard time getting good value for the uh, Erendite in this matchup. But I think I'm going to use two leader charges just to be certain. Let's see, we get that started right away. You play two unicorns, I play one battle stations. Now we have two turns to float these cards. I'm not going to use Menno in round one again. We got to save that for later on. But at least we can put it back in the deck. And this is a fairly slow tempo play. That's basically me grabbing my cat off my mattress right now. 
Okay, so are they a Triss friend or what? That was a lot of points to play. We get four off the swing here. It brings me to its high. I don't think I can afford to crank more leader. At least we're round trapping them. They can't pass. Here comes the leader, then comes Renfrey. Watch. Oh! I mean... If I go four more points, it's it's enough. I'm just gonna have to give her. I don't like doing this, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Go past. There we go. Finally. Jeez. We can't beat Triss though. We know Triss is coming. It's not a bad just nine point slam, you know? But I think I could probably yen. The yenning the Triss is too slow. 43.25. Maybe I'm supposed to minnow. I get a free fiend, and then uh, we can play around to destroy an eight or less, I suppose. Here. If I win on even, I could pass in a round two, and then I can go into a round three and just play Nazca spam. That's sort of the rationale behind this one here. I know there's a lot of, like, aggression. It just seems like we're just throwing stuff out there, but... Okay, now we can actually just bleed them out, play with sword, and then, uh, yeah. Nazca is going to have to be the big win con here. A couple tall punish, which is nice, but... Yeah, give me not now, later. This is okay, and this is okay. I want to find counsel. That's not bad, actually. Maybe I'm supposed to go for council top deck. Just move that to the top, get a little bit more value for the sword. I think I can go in with the cavalry here. Yeah, let's just do that. Here. Let's go six, we tie, unless it's top deck. Nope. Jeez, bro. Now we got double the effort going towards it. Erendite's back online. This is looking good. Top deck war council means we're going to be getting some of the stuff that we need here, guys. And all the better. I draw into something I don't mind playing. Nice. Thank you for your help. comes the Ren free, destroy eight or less afterwards, split X amount of damage. Ah. Whenever you pass four. Hmm. Imagine. Spawn a I don't have any bonded stuff. Armor is not a bad gig, I guess. Just in case. They have a lot of control, so... Here, I'm going to take Erendite on this. And at least get rid of this. Nice. Hmm. I could probably mill out something good. That was actually worth. So 
sword at 10, double tall punish. We just go for the pass here. We know we're getting this. We know we're getting... I think we just win. Good. Good. It's a little late for decoy, guys. Wow. So I like this idea. I think we're going to go with that. Because we go boom, boom, boom. You see the, the vision here, right? Vigo, or I think it's Vigo. You will not regret this, sir. Of the Good, my top deck's on point. They're going to trust that, for sure. i got to find a way to get ahead uh, fairly quick. You know... This is fine. I think I get one more turn for Erendite. And then they're going to trust last. So I'll just kill off the, the 9 with the Erendite. Why would you? I guess they have to. I would definitely have played that on ranged. It's a throw if we've seen one. So they don't. Okay, they don't. They don't have Triss. People are sleeping on Triss. In this deck, you want Triss for sure. Maybe they just didn't draw it. So we basically lose this game before it even started because I feel like one of the few matchups that would really just dummy us would be a mirror. Okay, let's try winning on even. Winning on even is like literally the only way that we have a chance in this. Getting out leader early. Just all the assimilate procs, man. Calvid. We gotta deal with Caller ASAP. How are we gonna do this? I could always just take, uh. Could take Ramon first. We just get that first one out. We have armor on it too, so. And then, uh, what do we got here? We're gonna have to put. Meno is a top deck. Just pray that he's already there. I don't think I want to start using leader. Last game, I sort of started blowing leader charges pretty early. It felt irresponsible. If you give that spying, I'm in trouble. So this game's going to be 20 minutes long. Maybe we can win. Ah, oh, there they come. There you go. Tempo overload. I think I like this. Victory 
is on the wind. Another man will go to the top here. Listen, I'm probably at some point going to have to take... It just sucks that it's now. Because I don't want to play Menno again in round one. I suppose I could. Just for something else. At the end of the round. And then do they kill it with the... It doesn't need barricade to work. Gonna wish you had that joust. So gross. Here, you know what? We turn theirs off. And then we we can also lock it, I suppose, but I don't think we need to. Then they coo her, they get another one. Locks feel very important for the whole assimilate assembly line, so I kind of want to hold on to them as much as possible. They have two engines, we have two engines, we have more points on the board, nearly 20 more points. Here comes Rune Mage, big spend it, big spend it. Why monsters? Nilfgaard would have been your best bet. Larva. Okay. We gotta stay in this as long as possible. I guess... I could just... Uh, show some dominance on one of these. They'll get a lot of procs with create and plays. That's what I'm worried about. It, it very well could very, just be assimilate. You know what I mean? It's like the same thing. I should have locked this one. Actually, that's fine. Because then it would have healed. Yeah. Fair. So, Arendite's looking proper. Okay. Five points. Every single turn, pretty much in the round, except for that one turn where we were ahead. We didn't have to really go crazy on the leader charges. We used one. Let's put that back. Um... Boom, boom. Decoy for Vigo, likely. Before they get it. Here, that's fine. If my top card is uh, this or this, we cry, but I think it's actually worth... Yeah, that's actually just worth it. Keep it for later. Damn. Is that my yen? 13 points. What do they give spying? Of course, all the good stuff. Sick. Here. I don't really care to have that in my deck. We just want to get rid of it. So they can't thin. Because they top deck properly with the Calvite. And then they threw those in not at the top deck, you know what I mean? So it doesn't sort it by provisions properly. I gotta play stations before they do. That's not bad. What is truth, if not Getting the Vigo out of the way. They know better than to... Whoa! 
I guess they're just flexing that we don't have access to the yen. Here, you know what? This is looking all right. So we're going to go stations into that, into that. Okay, decent top decks. This into this. Whoops. You got to be careful with that. And then we got uh, another engine coming in hot. To go for Arendikes, it's worth it. Now we're seeing the good stuff. Let's go. Okay, let's see if we can ruin a combination for later. Yeah, that's not bad. These are actually pretty annoying, so. What do we got left? One. To make a copy. That. So Vigo, Bravens, Torres, Terranova, good. Now we just have to worry about Stefan. They have a really... <laughs> what on earth is that? Okay. Here, I just gotta keep going then. Just a little bit longer. Do I ever... Nah. Who cares about Erendite that much? Stefan's in hand, though, so it might be worth pushing to get rid of it. But I also have to get rid of the leader. There we go. Yes! What do you need me Let's go! Cool. <laughs> yeah! They temple pass on me, don't they? Let's be smart about this, okay? We need 22 points. We have a dead Nausicaa and Driver. And we have 6 points on the board. So. Okay. I guess we have to pass. They could still win off the leader too. If they have Anna Henrietta it's even worse. I need Vigo. Go. And that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get. I gotta play Vigo first, so they can't. They probably lead her first turn. crap here we go they get Vigo My turn to try. <laughs> Here. Way too many points if left unchecked, so. And then we can get rid of this before it gets worse. 
curious case. Surely it's the biggest problem. I'm thinking since they played Stefan, they do have Anna. Because they didn't want to spend it earlier. Now they're just waiting for it. We lose to Anna hard. Consideration have played this first. I don't think they have Coup. I think they're only giving Spying in this deck so that they have a Terra Nova target. Unless I just missed it earlier this game and... You're going to be pulling out a Fane. An interesting oh, this is... Oh yeah, they made a copy of mine. That's great. Okay. That's uh, such a relief, man. They don't have Anna on their deck. <laughs> they shouldn't have lost that. <laughs> 